Hey, this is uh, Larry Perez. Today we're going to be doing some basic arithmetic on this number line that I've drawn for you up there. Oh, wait, oh, we got to fix something up there. Uh -oh, it's okay. Anyway, um, with uh, advances in technology, I can now go ahead and use my magical tool here, and I can select one of you random students out there. So let me go ahead and do that. Let's see here. we got this guy. Who's this guy? Charlie. Here we go. Are you Charlie? No. Uh -huh. What are what? you sleeping? Can I get you a cup of espresso or something? What? A cup what? of coffee? What? Yeah, now take out a piece of paper and notes and start uh, writing this stuff down. We gotta get to work. Now, Charlie, what we're gonna do here, along with the class, is we're gonna do uh, some basic arithmetic. And first, we're gonna start with this first problem 28 plus 15. Okay, Charlie. Why don't you go ahead and explain to us on this number line, how would you do this problem? Uh, First of all, where would you start, Charlie? 28. Okay, let's look. 28. Oh, cool. <coughs> there it is up there. Okay, Charlie, we're adding a number. Now, if you're going to add something to 28, and we look at that number line up there, do we want to move to the right, or do we want to move to the left? To the right. Which way, Charlie? To the right. To the right. Now, how many of you agree with him? Okay, well, you are right, Charlie. Gosh. All right, Charlie, 28 plus 15. Now, Charlie, explain to us, okay, we're at 28, we're going to move right how far? 15. Okay, Charlie, so how would you do this? I mean, how do you think? Remember, remember, everybody thinks differently when they do addition on a number line. So, Charlie, give us a recommendation. Uh, move 10 to the right. Okay, Charlie, so we'll go ahead and we'll move 10 over to the right. Oh, wow. Okay, Charlie, so we've moved 10 over to the right now. Now, where are you at now? If we start at 28 and we move right 10, Charlie, where are we at? 38. 38. Huh? How, many of you, how many of you agree with him? Okay, well, let's see if he's right. 38. You're right, Charlie. Yes. All right, Charlie, quit showboating. Sit down. What? Yeah. Anyway. We're not done with this problem, by the way, Charlie. I know. Okay, we've, we're at 28, we've moved 10 to the right, and now we're at 38. Now, how many more do we have to go? Let me go ahead and pick another random student here. Charlie. Oh, why me? Oh, Charlie, it's my job to uh, choose a student, and I choose you. You don't have to do it now. You could come back and do it next semester. Oh. All right, Charlie. How many more? Five. Five more, okay. Does everybody agree with them? Okay. Okay, Charlie, 38, and we're moving five to the right. Where do we end up? 43. Okay, let's see what the computer says. 43, you're right, Charlie. All right, go ahead and showboat. All right, don't get too excited, Charlie. All right. Anyway, let's continue on and uh, take out your workbook, and let's go out and work uh, a couple other problems. Let's do this next one, um, 36 plus 17. Okay, with this particular problem, we're going to start where, Charlie? 36. And we're going to move which way? To the right. How far? 17. Okay, Charlie. Okay, then we'll do some uh, basic subtraction problem. Let's do this next one here, 45 minus 13. All right, Charlie. This time, we're going to start at 45 and move which way, Charlie? To the left. That's right, to the left, to the left. And how far? 13. 13 to the left. Okay, and then for our last and final problem, we'll do um, 32 subtract 58. All right, Charlie, you're at 32. Which way are you going to move? Left. The left, that's right. Very good. And you're going to move how far? 58. That's good. Okay, so what can you tell me about this, Charlie, about that result? If you start at 32 and you're going to move left, 58, what's going to happen? I'm going to pass zero. To, uh, yes, you'll be on the left side of zero. That's what I said. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Negative? It's a negative number. So what does that mean? It's a negative number. Okay, that's right. It will be a negative number. That's what so I said. So 32 minus 58 will give you a negative result because you're going to end up to the left of zero. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and work those out, work them out in your workbook, and then we'll uh, come back and we'll do some problems a little bit later.